Walk around family, welcome back to another video. Today we have a 2025 Honda Passport Trail Sport and Platinum White Pearl. On the exterior, it goes unchanged like the 24, so design's cue should be exactly the same. Starting off with your front headlamps, you do have an LED projector, low beams, inc look at incandescent high beam, LED daytime running lights, traditional bulbs, turn signals, and LED fog lights. On the lower portion of the bumper, it is flat black. You do have this gray piece right here that matches the grill. The trail sport gets this uh, color on the grill, and you have trail sport stamped in the grill to let you know you don't have a regular passport. You have the more rugged uh, passport. Now, you do have your Honda emblem up front, too, that houses your radar for your Honda sensing. And on the lower portion of the bumper, you also have these bumper curtains here on both sides. That's actually functional. Sensor is built into the bumper. And then Platinum White Pearl, I've done this color so many times. You guys should be very familiar with it. If you're hoping for 2025 that the Passport gets the pilot treatment, you're gonna have to wait one more year. Honda just teased the 2026 and looks like that's gonna be where the refresh is at. So, so for 2025, the Passport still will be based on the previous pilot. Take a look at the side profile here. You will have all-terrain tires that's unique to the Trail Sport, and they are general grabber all-terrains. Your rims are gonna be 18s, which is almost, I believe it's the same color as the grill and the lower portion as the bumper as well. But you can see the tires, they're actually all-terrain tires. The previous Passport just gave you some street tires that try to look rugged, but these are actually more rugged tires, which is a nice look. You do have flat black coming from the front of the bumper, go all the way around the arches, all the way around to the bottom portion, and wraps around all the way to the rear. You do have a body line right here as well. The mirrors are gloss black up top, LED turn signals integrated, flat black down below. You do also have your Honda sensing camera in the windshield. You don't have the new wider camera that's on most of the newer Hondas, I'm assuming for 26 Honda will update that. The roof rails are no longer gloss black. Now they're the same gray that's in the grill and the wheel in the lower portion of the bumper. Coming along to the rear, also unchanged for 2025, you do have a shark fin style antenna that is body colored. Window spoiler is mostly body colored with a little flat black. Below the spoiler, you have your LED third brake light, exposed wiper, Honda emblem in chrome. You do have this black portion right here that's like gloss black. Trail sport emblem lets you know. I don't got a regular passport. I got the off-roaded passport. All-wheel drive is blacked out too, which is I like, and passport is also blacked out. You can, I believe you can black out the H through your dealership with the accessories. Combination tail lights, you have LED brake lights, and you can see the turn signals, they're traditional bulbs. You actually can see the bulb in there. And your, your reverse lights is also traditional bulbs as well. Same uh, color as in the front of the bumper that matches it. Kind of, it's not a diffuser, but it's kind of give you like a more rugged style, you know. You'll get the same color as the grill and the wheel and the roof rails. And these are actually real dual exhaust tips. Give you a more sporty look from the rear. You do have your sensors in the bumper as well with your reflectors and your license plate lighting. It's also LED. Taking a look at the key, it is still the previous Pilot key as well. You don't have that new curvy key that's on most Hondas nowadays. But you do have lock, unlock, remote start built in on the key fob, power trunk, panic button, and there is a emergency key fob in, well, emergency key in the fob. You pull the switch to take out. There's a number two on this key because you do have memory seats on the key as well, and you do have smart entry. So you push this little button right here, it'll lock all the doors. And to the unlock, you put your hand in there and unlock it. That's on the driver door and the passenger door. By default, if you put your hand in the driver door, it'll only unlock the driver door. You can go into settings and change that. If you put your hand in the passenger door first, it'll unlock all four doors. I hope you love black interior because on the trail sport, that is the only option interior color. If you want something lighter, you're gonna have to get an EXL because even the black edition only come with black interior with red stitching with um, like a very dark red accent in the seat. But on the door card over here, you can see soft touch up top, soft touch here, Soft touch where you rest your elbow. On the door switches, let me try to block the sun for you guys. You do have auto up down for driver and passenger window. You have to hold it for the rear. Power locks. I love the door handle materials, not gloss black, just like a regular flat plastic pretty much. Memory seats. So you have two position memory seats only on the driver door. And you do have storage down below. So storage here, storage there, storage everywhere. You can put a little bit of everything you want and pop the gas tank there and open and close the trunk 
there, or the power tailgate, the trunk. Arm stitching is on the door to kind of break up some of this black, and this is like a, a nice material to, it's not a flat material, it's textured, and it's also black as well. On the driver's seat, you do have power adjustments, lumbar in and out, so two-way lumbar, forward and back for the back of the seat. You can move the whole seat forward and back, up and down for the whole seat, and you can tilt this portion right here up and down. On the passenger side, you do get a four-way adjustment, forward and back for the whole seat, and then forward and back for the back of your seat. There's no up and down available on the passport. Let's jump into this interior on this fine warm day. Foot on brakes, push the button. It is push button start. Close this guy up as well. Get some wind going in, wind, get some air going on in here. So the interior is exactly the same as 2024. Like I said, 26 is gonna be the redesign. So I'm assuming Honda is gonna give the Passport interior some of the newer Honda treatment. But let's say you don't want a tab style uh, display. You like to have display built into the dash. You probably wanna look at a 25 before you can get one anymore. Let's take a look at the left side of the steering wheel. You do have an air vent over here, no gloss black around the vent, just regular flat black, which I prefer. More of that textured material, which I like. I think this is only for the trail sport. Down below, you do have your power mirror adjustment. This button will fold in the mirrors and fold them out. Now, with the newer Pilot, if you lock the vehicle, it'll lock the mirrors. That's not available on the Passport currently. You have to push this button every time to fold them in or fold them out. You do have an econ assist button here. Parking sensors on and off. You do have a, uh, I think it's a wiper de-icer zone. So you can turn this feature on and it'll warm up the bottom of your windshield to free your wipers if you're stuck, mostly in snow or anything like that already. Very cold climate that you're in. You have your automatic braking. So your frontal collision mitigation, if you ever want to turn that off, you hold this button. Road departure mitigation on and off, off now. If it's on, it lights up green. Traction control on and off blank button there. Down below, you do have the lever to pop the hood. You still get a traditional emergency brake. The pilot went to an le electronic emergency brake, and I'm sure for 2026, the Passport will do the same. Now, if you don't want the electric uh, parking brake, get your 25 Passport. The gas and brake pedal is traditional. Steering wheel is adjustable as well. You pull this lever down, and then you can bring this guy up down and in and out. The steering wheel itself is leather wrapped, so perforated where you grip, which feels nice. No flat bottom or anything like that. The middle portion, this flat black. Cars nowadays have piano black and everything, and I just think it gets dusty and just get very scratchy over time. It's very minimal in here. There's still some in the Passport, especially in the Trail Sport, but it's very minimal. Behind the steering wheel, you do have your light setting, so off, auto, below auto is your parking, and then this is just on and your fog lights on and off, and you do have auto high beams uh, built in as well too, that's standard. On the right side is your wipers, so you have off, intermediate, low and high for the front wipers, off, intermediate, and on for the rear wiper. You can see it going crazy back there. Paddle shifters behind the steering wheel, so you can manually shift up or shift down if needed to. We have some controls over here, so we got volume, we got next track, we got previous, the up and down arrow is most likely to make selections on the screen here. I believe this is a five inch digital display. You do have your temperature gauge on the left side, gas gauge on the right side, and this little light all the way up here, it'll go from white to light green to dark green. The darker the, the color, pretty much the darker the green, the more gas you're saving. It's white right now because the password is running and we're not moving anywhere, so we're not saving gas, we're, we're wasting gas. It's to help you to be more eco-conscious. Below the D-pad, you do have a back key for the screen home button, you can either answer, hang up, or voice command for your cell phone device. If you hold it and have Apple, it will be Siri. On the right side of the steering wheel is where some of your cruise uh, buttons are and your Honda sensing. So you have resume, cancel, set for your cruise control. Here's your distances you can set for the adaptive cruise control and you can hold it to turn it into a regular cruise control where it does not slow down automatically for you. Heated steering wheel is now standard. That started in the 24. You do have cruise on and off and your lane keeping assist button as well. So on the display here, you can view different information. If I hit the home button, that's on the left side of the steering wheel, you have trip computer. All wheel drive torque will show you pretty much the torque between all four wheels. Your phone will show you your contacts, speed dials, recent dials. If you're not using Apple CarPlay, if you're using the Honda's native phone system, you have a navigation system because 
navigation is standard in the trail sport and if you don't have a destination in there it will be a compass and you have your what music you're listening to or life or tire pressure who have the seat belts on settings you can customize kind of what apps is on here oh i guess you should rearrange them i don't think you oh no you can customize them right here show and hide there we go so you can decide what shows oh look at that interesting all right so we go back go back you can take off the tachometer if you don't want a tachometer up, up top pretty interesting i guess you don't want to see engine speeds and you have units where you can switch the digital speedometer to kilometers you go to mexico or go to canada or you can have blank where it shows nothing left side is going to have the outside temperature right side is going to have your odometer so i have to mention the steering wheel is also orange stitch which is the theme of the trail sport orange stitching everywhere coming along to your touchscreen display now like the ridge line the ridge line got redesigned and got a bigger nine inch display the passport don't have the nine inch i believe this is a seven is it your eight inch i think it's a seven inch display now this is not the oldest honda link system like the ridge line had the ridge line had the older honda link from 2017 this is the more updated honda link system like i think they went to this in like 20 am i mistaken i think the inside had it first am i mistaken or the cord had no the cord had it first in 18 then cars start following after so you do have navigation built in and it is a garmin uh navigation system so if you don't want to use your phone you can still use the embed navigation system in the passport most people prefer to use their phone because your phone update once every week this thing you update it once a year and you have to pay to update it phone you have settings you have fm you have bluetooth you have android auto and apple carplay it's not wireless so you have to plug your phone in and all the trim modes black edition trail sport or excl i'm assuming for 26 they're gonna go to the nine inch and get the wireless apple carplay android auto trip computer there as well if you go into settings you can actually see you can change system settings connections vehicle camera display sound notifications if you go to vehicle you can change a little bit of everything like your door lock setting actually no let's go to keyless access there we go walkway auto lock is a standard feature on all the trail sports you have door unlock modes you can go in there configure your password to exactly how you want it on the second page you will have the native text messaging system you're probably going to use apple carplay and auto instead of that guy series xm is uh, built in as well because i know a lot of vehicles are going away from xm usb port social playlist you can um pair multiple phones to the passport and decide you know what song to play that's your cool feature am is tucked away back here system updates my honda music i believe there's a hard drive on the system you can store music on there if i'm not mistaken i have i haven't actually really used it. yeah you have to add um yeah you can put in a thumb drive and pretty much download music to your passport but to be honest who's really doing that anymore and then you have honda link back here as well now i believe this don't get remote honda link i think it just get honda link base and honda link and just link i don't think it gets remote on the trail sport when we do the trim walk i'll have to double check that as well you do have dedicated shortcuts up top so you can grab one of these apps and then pull it and put them up there and they'll always be up there no matter what screen you're in which is cool and then what media you're listening to time and then you have a physical volume knob power button home back and brightness is touch touch uh, sensitive buttons as well down below you have your hazards and then your climate control the passport is a tri-zone climate control which is nice because most suvs in this class is still dual zone climate control so driver passenger and whoever sits in the rear can be at three different temperatures which is cool so sync is off right now so this passenger can go catch on fire if they wanted to and let's say you hit rear settings you can adjust it for back them they can they can be at 71 degrees so you can be at low 71 back there 70 put it for the passenger but if you turn the sink on you're controlling all three zones so you do have different modes fan speed ac on and off air circulation that's a toggle for the passengers um temperature i'm actually turn off the rear because i don't need the rear uh air on right now you have on and off for the whole system auto climate control and this is where I went to go to the rear settings. Front defrost, rear defrost, heated side mirrors. Down below, you do have heated seating, and there's three different levels, high, medium, and low. Same thing on the passenger side. If you want ventilating front seats, you need to go up to a black edition, standard in the black edition. You have some storage here. You do have a USB-A and USB-C. A is where you plug in for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and it will charge. C is for charging only. 
you do have a power outlet as well wireless phone charger built in with additional storage now for 24 honda did change up the center console where it allow you to have more than one smartphone here on 23 it was only one phone can fit there and also this armrest was smaller on 23 and you had the little captains like the captain style um, armrest here because this was smaller now they made this guy bigger but looking at your shifter it's still a push button so park reverse neutral drive you hit drive again put the password into s mode s mode will shift uh, it will hold higher RPMs, shift more aggressively to give you more spirited drive. Putting the passport in reverse. Reverse is the only button that's a different orientation. Just in case you're doing this without looking, you know which one you're pressing. So going to reverse, you do, you do have Honda's multi-link uh, backup camera. So we're in a wide angle right now. You have your traditional backup camera and you have down below. So you can see what's below the window. That's behind you, of course. <clears throat> With cross traffic, if anyone's coming from the left or coming from the right, it'll alert you and let you know which way the car is coming from. You can actually make the back of the camera smaller and have a radar so you can see how close you are to something as well because you do have parking sensors standard on the Passport. And you do have different drive modes here. So if you push this guy, you have normal, snow, mud, and sand. And that will change the transmission configuration based on what mode you're in and your throttle response as well. It actually works. And you do have your engine idle stop defeat button there cup holders here now you do have ambient lighting that's orange on the trail sport and right around the cup holders it'll light up orange it'll light up orange on the door handles and a lot of orange by the foot wells as well and you'll see that night that it comes to life it's not too bright either your armrest is orange stitch soft touch and you can see you have storage in there but there is no plugins at all just storage in a tray and that's pretty much it this guy doesn't move up it stays stationary taking a look at your glove box it is lockable so you have the key and it is damped but it's not lined with felt so it's a bin style and it's a decent size not the biggest storage uh, glove box in the world above your touchscreen display you do have your rear view mirror which is auto dimming and you get home link built in as well too so built-in garage openers there as well which is a cool feature cores and crvs and stuff like that you get to add the home link as a accessory you have the interior lighting here no led and then you have your sunglasses holder here they took away the mirror which is interesting i wonder if the uh, i don't know if the password don't have them at all the black edition only have it but pilot uh, had this and it was a cool feature to have a crv and most suvs had that so i'm not sure why they took that away your headliner is black in the trail sport let's take a look at your visors you do have lighting in there and a mirror and it's not led but at least they give you a light let's see a passenger side also get lighting not led you do get a power moonroof and it'll open all the way or you can have it tilt up so you push it straight up it'll tilt or open all the way no panoramic moonroof is available on the passport currently I'm wondering if they will add that on the 26. let's take a look at the seating again trail sport is embroidered in the headrest driver and passenger and they're perforated down the middle which are orange stitching these seats are comfortable they will i think they'll hug most body frames they're not too bolstered so even if you're a wider frame you should be should be comfortable in the front seats of the passport let's jump out of here and take a look at the second row that's where your passenger is going to be and you're going to see how comfortable they are let's see how wide this rear door opens not the widest in the world it's not gonna be like a crv but a little bit more wider than a lot of suvs in this class Let's take a look at the door card. So hard touch, hard touch. Oh no, this is soft, I'm sorry. Soft here, hard touch up here where you rest your elbow is soft. Still get the orange stitching back here. Get the window control, two cup holders in the door, which are nice. Door handle, you have a speaker and some more storage as well. Let's jump to the back seat. The, this seat is all the way back. I'm 5'10 and I still have a few inches with the seat all the way back. This is one reason why you get a passport over a CRV, just a little bit more headroom and leg room. And yet, y'all remember when I turned off the, the rear climate control? Let's turn it back on so I don't cook back here. I had to reach over to turn on the rear climate control just now because there are no controls for the rear climate control in the trail sport. But if you get a black edition, you will have buttons back here. I think they should have threw it in the trail sport, but you know, it is what it is. You have a matte pocket behind the driver. You have a matte pocket behind the passenger. And uh, speaking of the air vents, you do get two 
USB C's ports back here and an AC uh, outlet as well. So the 150 watts. That's something the trail Sport gives you over the EXL. Now I do have the window sticker here so you guys can see 2025 Passport all wheel drive. All wheel drive is standard on passports by the way. Trail Sport, Platinum White Pearl, black interior. Base price is 45,000 even. Platinum White Pearl charges 455 for the color. Destination and handling is 1395. You're looking at 46850 MSRP and you get 19 city, 24 highway, 21 combined, which is not bad for a vehicle this size with a V6. I know everyone is going to turbo, four cylinders and hybrids and stuff like that. But if you want a traditional V6 and you don't want a pilot, this is definitely the way to go. So I forgot to mention, you got peasant blockers in the second row, which is cool on both sides. Get your peasant blockers. And you do get a armrest here in the middle with cup holders and it's soft to the touch. And take the seat belts out. You have your little labels here because you have your tethers. Let's see, is it down in there? Yeah. Your hooks are like, they're not that far, they're like right there. So for car seats and, you know, booster seats and stuff like that, they even have one. Oh, they have one for the middle seat too. Look at that. So you have a, a tether there, but it's only one in the middle seat. And it's two on these outer seats. And these seats are still perforated as well. So it's mimic the driver's seat with the orange stitching. No trust board and headrest, of course, but it's still a nice place to be back here. You can also adju adjust the second row seat so you can pull it f forward and back. Same thing with this seat as well, too. You pull the bar, which is nice. So you can either give yourself more leg room or let's say you have something long back here, you can move the seat up forward further to give you more space or just fold down the seats. So let's actually jump into the cargo space because this is another reason why you're buying a passport over a CRV. You can pull this lever here, it will drop the seats flat. I'm gonna bring this back up because you can also drop it down from the rear, which is nice. So, like I said, power tailgate. And the EXL also will have a power tailgate. So that's actually standard on every passport. Now, because you don't have the third row, like the pilot, you have plenty of cargo space back here. Also, the passport is about six inches shorter than the pilot. So if you're very curious. Now this passport has a protection package. So it has a foldable cargo tray. When you buy your passport, it won't come with this from the factory. It will come with this carpet. So you can add this as an accessory. And because this is a trail sport, you will get the rubber floor mats instead of the carpet floor mats. So the EXL and Black Edition will come with carpet floor mats. The trail sport come with the rubber floor mats already because Honda assume you're gonna dirty up this interior because you're gonna get this thing all, all messy. Now you can fold the seats from back here with each of these buttons. So you push down, drops it down for you. You have to manually pick it back up though. It's not power back up. You do get a power outlet back here, which is nice. Your little, this is for your cargo net, but you can probably hang some back here if you wanted to. You have a storage here, you have tie downs here. Another tie down over there. Look like you got four tie downs, which are nice. Tie down here, more storage here too. And same thing for your cargo net. Or if you add a rare cargo cover, it can go right into there and then the cover kind of hooks into here, which is nice. Now you do have additional storage underneath the, the floor. So you lift this guy up, that's actually a decent uh, size. And there's a two tier, so you lift this size up too, then you get more additional uh, storage, subwoofer, and your spare tire, and your funnel. It's here and your tools is actually under here as well too. So plenty of storage. Look how wide it opens. Like I said, this is why you'll get this over a CRV. The load floor is a much higher than a CRV though. So you have something heavy, you have to lift it up a little bit more higher and take it up in there. Here I'll show you guys from the side how far it is off the ground. So we're gonna close this guy up and we're gonna jump into the trim walk. And I'm gonna show you guys some standard features on the Passport. The 2025 Passports are rolling in. They're finally coming in. Um, like I said in the video, if you guys were looking for the complete redesign for 25, you're going to be disappointed. Honda stretching it one more year before they redesign the Passport. Now, go look up the 2026 Honda Passport. They released a snippet of the Trail Sport, but you can't really see it, but they give you an idea that they changed some things up. But for everyone that love this platform, you know, they love the, the 3.5 V6 because I don't know if Honda's going to change the motor for 26. We're just going to have to wait and see. 
Um, there's a high chance they may keep the 3.5. They may just get the 3.5 that's in the pilot, the redesigned 3.5. We're just gonna have to wait and see. Anyways, today's video is about the trail sport, so that's what we that's what we're gonna talk about. So remember, I told you guys you have three trim levels for the 25 EXL trail sport and black edition. The trail sport is gonna have everything the EXL have, but this is what's gonna add or change. Perforated leather trim seats with orange stitching and trail sport front seat logos. EXL also has leather trim seats, but the orange stitching is unique for trail sport. Leather wrapped steering wheel with orange stitching. All season floor mats with trail sport logo. So if you get an EXL or black edition, you get carpet mats. Trail sport will give you the rubber mats. Power folding heated gloss black power side mirrors with integrated LED turn indicators, memory, and reverse gear tilt down. Well, long thing to say, just saying you have power uh, side mirrors that can fold in and out and they're heated. And they gloss black on the outside. And when you put in reverse, if you leave the um, the mirror all the way to, to L, which is left, or leave it to right, it'll automatically tilt down whichever one you leave it on to show you the curve when you reverse. Cool feature. Comes in handy. Leave it in the middle if you don't want it to flip down automatically. Variable intermittent windshield wipers with heated wiper zone. So in the video, I call this thing a complete different thing, but yeah, it's called a wiper zone, which is heated wiper zone, which is cool. Orange ambient LED lighting, off road tune suspension. I don't think I mentioned this in the video, but I did mention it in my TikTok. So make sure you follow on TikTok, Shaquem Walk Around for a quick walk around. Oh, damn, it's not a microphone. For a quick walk around on these vehicles. 18 inch Peter Gray alloy wheels. I didn't. I didn't, I said Peter, Pewter, Pewter. I'm recording this thing late right now. It's raining outside, and I don't know, my brain is going into chill mode right now. But you get the all terrain tires at 245, 60, 18. Built in navigation system, 115 volt power outlet in the second row, second row sunshades, LED fog lights, roof rails, and a compass. So let's jump in and build one up. You get a three right here, easy to, easy to um, build. All-wheel drive is standard on the Passport. The 3.5 V6 is standard on the Passport. But remember, this is the previous 3.5 V6. This is not the, the new 3.5 that's in the Pilot. So you're looking at 19 City, 24 Highway, 21 combined, which is not bad for a vehicle to size, and it's a V6. There's no hybrid. Um, you do get the Intelligent Variable Torque Management, which is Honda's all-wheel drive system, which is a very nice all-wheel drive system, by the way. Uh, 280 horsepower, 262 foot-pound of torque. Let's jump out of here. Standing all of the models. So Trail Sport, give you some options. You got Crystal Black Pearl, which comes with black interior. And this is the only one I'm going to show the black interior because all the colors on Trail Sport are black interior with the orange stitching. She looks really nice. So you have Crystal Black Pearl, which you don't have a premium price for, a premium charge. You have Lunar Silver Metallic, also no premium charge. The Fuse Sky Blue Pearl, which is only exclusively for the trail sport. You only can get this color on this trim level. Can't get an EXL, can't get it on the, the Black Edition. You have Platinum White Pearl, which is the one we're walking around right now. Radiant Red Metallic, which I love Radiant Red. And Sonic Gray Pearl, of course, Sonic Gray Pearl is on everything. I'm wondering for 26 if it's going to replace, be replaced by Urban Gray, like it did with everything else. Like the Civic now comes in urban gray. The Cord comes in urban gray. CRV comes in urban gray. So I'm sure they may replace it on the Passport. We're just going to have to see. I'm going to leave it on white. And let's look at the wheel options that you have. You either have these 18-inch HPD alloy wheels, all-terrain tires. I think... Huh. Oh, the tires even look different. These are okay. These are okay, but I'll probably stick with the stock wheels. You know, it teaches on though. You look at some packages. So these are manufactured packages. So these are PPO. So I mentioned this in my 24 videos, my 25 pilot videos. You can buy a passport that has features from the factory. So when Honda was building these vehicles, they also added these accessories. You save money because there's no labor. So if you buy a passport that's already built and you add a function package, it's gonna cost you more, $440, because you have to pay labor, installation, and all this stuff from the dealership, where if you buy one that already has it, then it already has it. And you can order one, um, your dealership can order one for you, actually, with one of these packages on there. So there's no dealer installation cost. So you save some money on these guys. So you have a function package, you have an HPD Plus package, and an HPD package. So I believe the HPD package, where does this come with? So you can't you get the grill, I love this grill, by the way. 
It looks nice on the ridge line. I like how it looks nice on the passport too. So you get the grill, you get the oh those the eighteens, the wheels, the other set of wheels you can get. Black wheel lug nuts and a gloss black taillight accent. What does that look like? Hold on. What do you mean gloss black taillight? Oh, it smokes the taillights. Oh no, it don't smoke. It has this thing. What the heck? That's that remind me like a Jeep, like a Jeep Wrangler or something like that. Like. Is that interesting? That's funny. So HPD package. So the plus, that's a very HPD. The plus is going to give you the fender flares. That's, and that's pretty, much, that's pretty much it. You get everything but the fender flares on the plus. Interesting. No stickers. You see how there's no stickers anymore? I, I knew you guys complained and Honda was like, all right, we're not adding stickers anymore. That's what, that's what I'm assuming. But you have the utility package and the function package. All right, so those are the PPO packages. Let's not add any of those. And then you're gonna so you either do a protection package and protection film package. Interesting, they don't have more options, but everything's gonna be here in accessory. So go to electrical first, engine block heater, interior. So cargo bins. Okay, so this is when you lift up that floor. That's actually pretty nice. I actually like that. That way you don't have a bunch of stuff just flowing. Things are just going side to side, you no know, flying all over the place. You have a little more storage. I actually like that. That's actually really nice. The cargo cover. I showed you guys that as well. The cargo net. And these are like stuff you can always add. The side panel protectors, cargo tray, door sill protectors. You can add a heated steering wheel, I guess, if you have an EXL. Because the trail sport and the black edge already come with that. But rear seat covers, seat back protectors. Okay. Okay, so let's go to exterior. You got some interior stuff. And this is all, you know, traditional bike mounts. Frame, bike mount, crossbars, uh, Missy door handle film, door. I love the door visors. You can black out the H, like I told you guys. Um, wow, it's really raining. I don't know if you guys can hear that in my background, but it's raining, raining. Where am I right now? Fender flares. I love this front grill. This thing is clean. Um, you know what? The ridge line get new mud flaps. Let me see if these. I bet you they don't got this on here. They do. You can add HPD mud flaps. Those are fire. I would. I would definitely add those. I would definitely. I like how those look. I don't know why. They just give you like some type of rally type style. Actually, so you can get an oil pan guard. Okay. Now the pilot come with skid plates already. I think under the oil. I think the engine, um, skid guard and the oil pan skid guard and another skid guard already comes with it. But the trail sport on the pass, we have to add them as accessories. But I think they actually add, I think there is one skid plate already under there, and then you have to add the oil pan. I'm getting confused, but yeah, I think there's one already on the passport, and then you can add those. So, running boards, so you have the regular black one, the black with lights, and the die cast. The die cast is so cool, I like those. Tailgate welcome lights, side welcome lights, those are cool, and the hitches. And get a tent. If you watch most of my Honda videos when I go over these accessories. You're familiar with most of these accessories. These are pretty standard, you know, through Honda. Um, I love the mud flaps. So let's go ahead and break down the pricing. So you're looking at 45000 as a base price. I know I went over the window sticker in the video. I'm going to show you guys here too, just in case you missed it. Platinum White Pearl is 455 more. And uh, you don't have to pay for the wheels. So that good stuff. This engine handling is 1395 MSRP is 46850 now, at the time of recording, I don't know if Honda have any specials. Um, check with your local dealership. Or just go to Honda.com, actually. And then if you go to Shopping Tools, go to See Offers, it's going to ask you for your zip code. And then you put in your zip code, it'll tell you what offers are available in your area. I think it varies. I'm in New Mexico, so what I'm showing you now might be different in wherever state you live. You live in New York or something like that. So, for example... Oh, yeah, look at that. Honda got a $1,000 loyalty on 25 Passport. Uh, oh, this one you lease. You have the lease one, $1,000 off. Look at that, easy. And for 24, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, so if you lease, you get $1,000 off. Easy. You can get the low rate as well. So for 25, they got 3.9, 4.9, and I think 5.9. Yeah. And then for 24, if there's any 24s left over, 2.9, 3.9, and 4.9. So you can get some low rates, um, and if your dealership have any other special lending going on, you can get that as well too. I know who you guys are. You know you, you try to buy these cars, you try to, you want to get way below the dealership cost and all this good stuff, but get some lease specials as well in the EXL, which is nice. So you got some options. You want to save some money? 
25 is probably the way to go, or if you can find your 24, because the 26 is coming soon. I will end everything here. Let me know what you guys think about the 25 passport. Is this something you even care about? Did you just gonna wait for the redesign? Would you just get one of these? Maybe you've been holding off from 22, 23, 24. Now you finally want to get one, especially the trail sport. Let me know what you guys think. Me personally, I like the passport. I like the trail sport. I like what it gives you. It's a handsome looking vehicle. You get plenty of goodies. Um, I think Honda should have put the nine inch in the 25. But then again, I, if you guys are not familiar, Honda don't completely change their cars every few years like other brands. They take a while before they do a complete redesign. Like they five to six years before they seven years sometimes before they even do a complete redesign. So this is nothing new to me. Like I had a feeling for twenty five they weren't gonna completely change it. Um and for the ridge line, I know the ridge line got more updates for twenty four than the passport, but the ridge line was overdue, really overdue for that infotainment screen. So uh, I'm not shocked that the Ridge Line got the bigger screen in the wireless CarPlay in Android Auto than the Passport. But let's see, because the Ridge Line is also due for redesign as well. So drop a comment down below. Thank you for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next walk around. Mm -hmm.